Hey guys, well, you know how the saying goes, you can't always get what you want. And when you're dealing with a budget that large, a lot of tough decisions had to be made, both about which departments are going to be getting more funding. But at the end of the day, under this current proposal, those property taxes would be going up. For the next fiscal year, the county is working with a $955 million budget. And that budget comes with some added costs for property owners. A 3.25 cent increase in property taxes means that taxes would now be set at just over 78 cents per $100 value. And with that extra wiggle room, the county believes they can make some new hires and also set aside $13 million for Durham Public Schools, $845,000 for the Sheriff's Office, and over a million dollars for the eviction diversion program, which helps people facing housing crisis. The larger property bill not bothering some homeowners who say it might be worth it to improve the community. Very civic mind. I, I'm like, I'm willing to pay taxes as long as they're spent well. And for some property owners, that means they want to see more spent on education. We have a kid in the Durham Public School and they're great teachers there, so definitely any increase in pay is worthwhile. But that $13 million for Durham Public Schools from the county is just half of the $27 million that was on DPS's wish list. You don't want to cut any department what the request is, but these are dire emergent needs to support academic success for children, recruitment and retention for our educators. DPS board member Javanya Lewis says at a time when teachers have been fighting for a pay increase for months, Where's my pay? she says something is better than nothing, but more needs to be done. This is a beginning point for us, but we definitely want to fully fund our schools and continue to figure out a way that we can work together to achieve our fully um, requested ask. Now, right now, this is not set in stone just yet. There is still a public comment period. In the meantime, we did reach out to the sheriff's office about what they would be planning on spending that $845,000 on. The sheriff not available for comment, saying they also need some time to dig through the budget themselves before making any comment. But again, it wouldn't, won't be until the end of this month before uh, any progress is made and we see some of those final numbers. But of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right.